Just listen to that, Papa. Don't it kind of fill you to overflowing with satisfying peacefulness? It sure does. Don't gawk, Lucy, dear. Harold's most probably inside waiting for you. If I wasn't so full of satisfying peacefulness, I'd stomp some manners into them mangy buzzards. <laughs> now, Papa, it's the first day of spring. Them fellas get as frisky as a bull moose after the first thaw. Hey, open this place up! Open it! They want a drink! Open it! Me and my brothers go kill ourselves and make <laughs> Young man, the saloon's closed till one o'clock today. Put a nick in our church bell. Did we? <laughs> Why don't we make it two o'clock? <laughs> All right. Start walking. Now brush yourselves off. We're going inside. In there? <laughs> oh, you love it, boys. Everyone says that Reverend Miller's got the gift. <laughs> Murder's got to be done legal and above board. Hey, hold on, you two. Well, look who's wearing a badge. Sheriff Dink Sykes, boy. That's right. And I'm running you out of Wretched just like my daddy ran you out of Deadwood. You ain't welcome here. And if you show up again, I may have to take official action. And that goes for your brother, Ike, too. Ike's liable to be all cut up about this. Ain't that right, Billy? He's got such tender feeling. He most likely ain't gonna believe it till he comes to town and hears it from your big fat mouth itself. I'll be glad to oblige him. <laughs> you tell him that I'll be at the Hanks for dinner tonight. No use making a trip for nothing. You forgot something. Our hardware. You can never tell when you got to kill a snake. Or some other varmint. <laughs> Tonight at dinner. Uh, make that after dinner. Harold, 
I heard the Blanton brothers are not to be trifled with. Lucy, I don't aim to trifle. I can back my words up with bullets, if necessary. <laughs> oh, I uh, must have uh, left my guns on my desk on the office. <laughs> Uh, I'll uh, see y'all tonight at dinner. I better go oh. wash up again. <laughs> Andrew! Oh, enjoyed your organ music at the service, Clarence. How are things at the undertaking parlor? Uh, quiet. You meet a lot of folks, but there's nobody to talk to. <laughs> Andrew? I want to go into business for myself. Oh, no. A second undertaking parlor wouldn't draw flies. <laughs> no, no. I've got my eye on that disreputable-looking corral. It's up for sale. Oh, that's been for sale eight years. Condemned for six. <laughs> I want to scrub it, paint it, and turn it into the plushiest corral west of St. Louis. And I only need $20 to close the deal. Think of it, Andrew. Elysium for $20. No <laughs> need to cry about it, Clarence. I reckon I can spare the money. <laughs> Effie! Give me $20. Clarence here needs a loan to go in the corral business. Turn around, Clarence. <laughs> Pin under the blue one on the yacht. Yeah, right there, here, I hope. Twenty dollars. Uh, here you are. Thank you. Thank you. You have invested in beauty. <laughs> Lucy, if you keep holding out your little finger like that, I'll get an eyeball. <laughs> yes, Grandpa. Tell me, Harold, what caused the bad blood between your papa and the Blantons? Oh, well, the Blantons were always rubbing Daddy the wrong way. They'd go out carousing, stealing, rustling. Nothing you could really put your finger on. <laughs> Just enough to keep Daddy riled up. And Daddy didn't mean to kill Joe Blanton. He was firing a warning shot at Ike and hit Joe, who was in the tree getting ready to bushwhack him. That's what the boys are holding against you. Yes, sir. Andrew, don't feed the wolf with your fork. <laughs> Better than using your fingers. <laughs> you were saying? Oh, uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, before my daddy passed away, he always said to me, Son, when you turn your back on a Blanton, make sure you're looking him in the eye. <laughs> yes, sir. Before Joe died, he said to me, Ike, the onlyest way to face up to a Sykes is head on. The odds is better that way. <laughs> yeah, but I was thinking if... I'll do the thinking and the talking, and you'll do the setting and the listening. All right, big brother. Now, fate has given us another Sykes, and it's up to us to make our brother Joe happy, wherever he is. <laughs> Lucy, would you do me a favor? What? Well, listen, could... Well, would you ask your folks to quit butting into my sheriff? You mean they've been demeaning your position? Well, no, nothing like that at all. It's just that they keep shooting people that I should be shooting. <laughs> I'll talk to them, Harold. A man must have dignity in his work or is not a man. I'll make them see that they mustn't interfere with your work. That's a promise. Lucy, you're wonderful. <laughs> How long are we supposed to stay before we read it? <laughs> Sheriff dies. That's funny. Don't save us by shooting or hanging or poisoning or grandma. <laughs> Shades of Lucifer. <laughs> Puts the undertaking parlor to shame, Clarence. <laughs> it, where do you think you're going? I'm gonna put the team in the corral. It, would you mind taking your team around the back? 
What's the matter? Aren't the stables finished yet? Oh, yes, it's lovely in there. But your horses will spoil the color scheme. <laughs> what about him? Ain't he a horse? Yes, but he doesn't clash. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Hi, Harold. Hello, folks. I'm just making my rounds. Hello, Harold. No word from the Blanton? Uh, no, ma'am, not for nearly a week now. I guess them Blantons finally realized there ain't no tomfoolery about Harold Sykes. They're probably over the next county. <laughs> Excuse me, Alfred. Thank you. <laughs> Sheriff dies. 3 p.m. Tuesday, O'Day Corral. They made an appointment to kill you on Tuesday, Harold. I still don't say which ways. <laughs> Son, I think you need help. Uh, well, maybe just this, uh... Harold, I will not permit you to sacrifice your pride just because you're afraid of hurting someone's feelings. That ain't no invitation to a square dance, dear. <laughs> Don't you see? It's a personal message to Harold, and he's quite capable of answering it himself. Aren't you, Harold? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Excuse me, Lucy. You need help, sweetie. Uh, me too. Oh? <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Hanks. Well, it's like Lucy says. I, uh, I'm going to try and stand on my own two feet. Me too. <laughs> I mean official help. Now, it's no disgrace for lawmen to stick together. And we got a couple of friends that'd be plum tickled to come over here and give you a hand. There's Wyatt Earp and his partner, Doc Holliday. Now, he's a dentist, but he can drill a bullseye quicker than a tooth. <laughs> well, all in all, just like Lucy says, I... Well, can I be here by Tuesday? Don't let him shoot till I get back. I don't trust him. <laughs> now, don't be nervous, Harold. Just squeeze the trigger. <laughs> Mrs. Hakes, why ain't Wyatt and Doc Holliday here yet? It'll be long. Those are the safest bottles in the county. Don't poke at it, boy. Aim it. Andrew, don't badger the boy. Maybe he has offset eyes. <laughs> don't quit looking so worried, Harold. Wyatt and Doc will be along any minute. Uh, maybe you're right. Unless, of course, one of their horses threw a shoe, or they can't find the ranch. Well, they got bushwhacked. But <laughs> well, they ran into some renegades. <laughs> They're coming by buckboard. <laughs> well, the engine's got them. Unless they missed a stagecoach. Or they didn't get the telegraph. <laughs> or they got sick. Or they didn't remember your name. Or they fell down a well. Pour some coffee into them, Lucy. He's been going on like that all night. I gotta admit, Wyatt and Doc are shaving it mighty close. Land sakes, yes. Harold's got to be down that corral getting a shot at in just a few hours. <laughs> uh, horseman on the main road. Two men, riding easy. Turned in the gate. It's them. Wyatt rides like. <laughs> I reckon you're the young man that needs assistance at this corral affair? Yes, sir, Mr. Earp, sir. And now that you're here, I'll ride back into Rich and get things ready. So us lawmen can teach them Blantons a lesson. See you all at the corral. <laughs> Come on, stupid, let's go. Come on. Oh, boy, didn't wait for no instructions. <laughs> uh, come in, Wyatt. Now. You all right, Doc? Quite. Except for a bruised clavicle. The medicine for which I have right here. <laughs> you ail him? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Doc. Oh, Missy. <laughs> Howdy, You know my mother and daughter. I sure do. Howdy. How are you? Honey, pick them a bite to eat, will you? Yes, Mama. <laughs>
Wyatt, there's a rattler sitting over yonder by the post. Do me the honors, will you? I left my gun inside. Delighted. <laughs> I could have been nailed on too many reward posters this here got. I'll get it. Well, snake's gone anyway. They can't stand noise. How long is it since you boys used them irons? Oh, quite a while. Reckon we'll get a mite rusty. It's been just awful. Soon as Wyatt and me hit a town, all the gunslingers hightailed into the next county. Well, you know, I ain't had this here gun out of this holster in so long. I'm gonna have to pry the bullets out of the chamber. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sure will be fun to have a shootout again after all these years. Yeah. Well, come on, let's go in the house. Oh, thank you, man. Excuse me. <laughs> Papa, looks like Harold's in trouble again. <laughs> Why, it'll be just about getting into wretched now, so I guess we'd best get started. I was hoping we wouldn't have to go into the town, but from the looks of things, poor Harold hasn't got much of a chance. What did you say about Harold not having much of a chance? Well, you got it all wrong, Lucy. Uh, we said that uh, ain't nobody can fill Harold's pants. <laughs> then why are you all going into town? Well, for, uh, for my fancy cologne. Florida water's in from the east. The kind that makes you smell rich and dainty. <laughs> well, well, don't look at me, child. I just broke my last knitting needle prying bullets out of the woodwork. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I have to buy some horse liniment today. Stonewall's left leg is so spabbing that uh, he trots sideways. <laughs> Are you sure that's all there is to it? Land sakes, child. Can't a body do some innocent shopping without being suspicioned? Then you won't mind if I go along with you. <laughs> Not at all, dear. Not at all. Ah, uh, Mr. Kitson back. Uh, don't forget, sir, at 3 o'clock there's gonna be bullets flying. Uh, better put the high price stuff down on the floor. <laughs> Sam, come three o'clock. Uh, keep your feet off the street. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hennessy, uh, now don't forget to come three o'clock. There's going to be a lot of bullets flying. So keep your customers inside. Don't want anybody to get uh, close shave with a lead bullet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Hennessy, uh, now don't forget, three o'clock, sir. Better get off the street. Uh. <laughs> Easy now, Nick. calamity having one of those primitive gunfights right here while they'll make a positive shambles of my corral. <laughs> Can't you stop it? Now, Clarence, don't worry needlessly. Wretched is in safe hands. Sheriff Sykes has real professional help. I know. I've just seen them. <laughs> Can't you stop it? Nope, we, we just come to shop. Well, hi, folks. Uh, Lucy? Uh, hi. Uh, uh, you better find some safe shelter. Uh, you too, Clarence. <clears throat> I better go get the liniment. Henrietta and I'll be in the Paris department store if you need us, dear. <laughs> oh, Lucy, dear, you go over at the hotel and wait. Uh, oh, we'll come and get you just as soon as Harold tells us it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> Harold, I do like your mama said. Now get over to the hotel. Now, go on, hurry up. Oh, my. It's almost three o'clock. Oh, yeah. The sheriff. The sheriff? Huh? Shouldn't you ought to be wearing guns? <laughs> hey, 
Hey, look, it's Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp, them famous lawmen from Tombstone. Yeah. Them's the best gunslingers ever was. Ah, they're past their prime. It's just a couple of washed up old men. I'm scared. Let's head for the border. <laughs> we call for this here showdown, and we got our reputation to uphold. turned out fine. Mama, where were you? Why, at the store. I'm sorry. For a minute there, I thought you might have been damaging Harold's dignity again. Oh, how could you think that? <laughs> the very idea. <laughs> That's red hot. Careful, child. It's been out in the sun. <laughs> Can't tell you how grateful I am, Wyatt. Anytime you're in town, be the Hank's guest. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Earp, I, I, I'll never forget what I've learned today. That's right. Never be ashamed to ask for help when you need it. Adios. You know where to find me. Farewell, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your chin tucked in. It's better for your bite. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. Bye. 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 Harold, I can't tell you what a wonderful feeling it is to be able to sleep at night knowing Wretched's in your hands. Well, I was just uh, doing my job, ma'am. <laughs>